So with Wimbledon, Match Point, and now this, how many more of these sort of films do we need before we have ourselves a sexy tennis drama subgenre? Challengers. Tashi, a former tennis prodigy turned coach, is married to a champion on a losing streak. Her strategy for her husband's redemption takes a surprising turn when he must face off against his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend. Not really sure where to start for this one. I feel like we've had trailers for this film just leading up to this for a long time. Did it get pushed back or something? Straight away, I had the impression that this was just going to be a strong delivery from the trio of Zendaya, Josh O'Connor, and Mike Faced. And if I'm taking anything from what I watched, it's 100% that. I've been tagline this as the what if Wimbledon but love triangle. I've not actually seen Wimbledon for like a millennia so god knows how accurate that statement is. <laughs> but bottom line was that this was a pretty electric romance drama. It definitely comes with a few caveats though. I think the best thing Challengers has going for it is the insanely good chemistry between our three main characters. Each person is dynamically different to each other, yet share similar traits to each make their one-on-one -on -one connections feel believable but also interesting to spectate. Josh O'Connor, who I loved as Prince Charles in The Crown, plays this confident, naturally talented player, living prize money to prize money. Whilst Mike Face, who I've not actually seen in anything before, plays this great counterpart as this hard-working, more reserved best friend, aiming for the same goals as his lifetime friend and tennis partner. These two bounce off each other really great, and each have qualities that kind of counter each other yet feel like they're just naturally friends because of it and you then see how their objectives and priorities gradually make them drift apart. And finally you have Zendaya as this confident new star dominating the college tennis scene. She nails this controlling meticulous power that comes between our two friends. You see their downward spirals and how that evolves each of their relationships. Zendaya's character in particular, watching her go from protege to being out of the race because of a knee injury and seeing her use that anger and lust for victory to be then, well, basically forced upon her husband. It's super intense and Zendaya honestly just takes command of every scene she's in. If you've seen the trailer then it probably isn't going to come to a surprise to you but this is a very sexed up film. Sexual tension is just all over the place and everyone's looking great and you know you can just buy the relationships that each one of these have with each other. Story wise though it can be a bit hit and miss I think. Way too many flashbacks and flash forwards for this sort of movie. You have this overarching present day tennis match which is a metaphor for different phases of their lives which is then cut up with flashbacks throughout different years, but it feels unnecessarily too much. I shit you not, one of the flashbacks goes three years ago, two weeks later, the day before, present day, 13 years ago. It's kind of nuts. I get why they did it somewhat. It serves the twists in the narrative pretty well, and I think it keeps the pace of the movie pretty fast and consistent, but at the sacrifice for some of the audience just being like, what the fuck? But yeah, like I just said, the pace is pretty good, and the story doesn't really drag for any of it at all. Until they decided to go for this weird choice of doing the final 20 minutes in this unbearable slow motion. Oh yeah, we're talking Zack Snyder levels here. It really grinds the movie to a halt. I think it was meant to be served as this ultimate climax. But everyone knows what's coming and I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, stop the slow-mo and let's just go, please. And it also felt like they just wrote themselves into a corner for the finale almost. They basically kind of said what half the resolution was and did a quick the end because they couldn't quite figure out how to do the aftermath for the rest of it. Probably wasn't their intentions with this, but it's certainly what it felt like when watching it. It sounds like huge negatives, I'm sure, but the positives honestly really do outweigh. Costume designs are great with vibrant colours matching the decades, and song choices complement that electric energy they were going for. It was just bottom line entertaining, and if you're trying to get into a romantic drama, then this is definitely as good as any other. So, it's a recommend. Yeah, so that's Challengers. It comes out this weekend, so let me know if you're planning to watch it. If you've already seen it, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe and all that, and as always, stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime, and video games. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.